What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video and today I'm gonna be showing this incredible demo that I have quickly built using the new Unreal Engine 5.4 preview Nanite Tessellation and it looks absolutely amazing. So basically if I eject here, I can change the, you know, view mode to Nanite Triangles and you can see that the landscape actually has these little hills with tessellation which are built with displacement in a material. So I haven't gone ahead and sculpted this manually with noise or anything like that. It is using tessellation with the material. So if I actually exit and go to the material itself, you can see that I have here the displacement node and I'm putting this here. So I can change the magnitude to, for example, 2.3 right on here. And let me quickly apply. You can see that now it is, you know, way less or I could do the opposite thing which is to increase it so i could put it for example two and go crazy and you can see how this changes so i have actually gone ahead and made a tutorial on how to do this in unreal engine 5.4 preview so i will be linking that in the description because it is truly amazing okay it is so so cool and it brings so much life into the environment. So basically I was just showcasing this with some sand. In the tutorial I showcased it with the, some rocks, which I think it is more noticeable, but in here it looks pretty cool. I also have built other two materials, so we can check uh, this out, which is basically using this kind of, of rocky ones. And it also looks very cool. As you can see, it is actually being affected by lighting, right? Those rocks, if they look like they're foliage let's say like mentally act uh, placed in actors but it is the landscape material with tessellation which basically just brings them from the ground as you can see they're not normal maps or anything like that they actually go now of course if we take a close loop uh, with the wrong parameters we might break a bit the material right but you know as time goes this will improve and also uh you know this is just playing with the magnitude the tiling the material and so on i have you know quickly built this uh, demo but you get the idea now i will try to build more demos and showcase how this looks right but i truly think that this is pretty cool then i have this other one which is a bit less noticeable i mean i can go ahead for example here you know and change the uh, tiling right to be for example 0.1 and 0.1 of the material and then go into the magnitude of the displacement and increase it to maybe 0.5, right? Apply this, now we have a, a bit of a bigger dunes, right, as you can see, and uh, it looks pretty cool. But um, I think the first material is the most noticeable one, but you get the idea, right? Like this little hills are being built. And of course we're getting this little tiny triangles, right, when we get very close. But like I said, if you get the right parameters, those will hide and also normally you will not get so so close to the ground and also it's still an experiment right there's many things to improve and like i said all of this is using nanite right the landscape is nanite therefore this tessellation is nanite and um just you know saves a lot of performance and we have extra detail in the ground which is pretty pretty nice i think that sand 3 is the best one yeah like, like so cool and you know i definitely go ahead and recommend to check out the tutorial because it is worth it you want to add so much detail into your landscape grounds so that's it guys if you found this video interesting i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i lots of i'm going to five videos have to so check them out check my patreon youtube members for many benefits and rewards go ahead and uh, join my discord server to talk with me and other devs go ahead and um, follow me on my socials and now yes with all said Bye-bye.